watch what's going on and know that you could conceivably be out there? What goes through your head? I want to um, I want to steal Doc's jersey for uh, for a couple minutes and go out there. No, it's it's um, it's good being back here, um, but it's you know I, I talked to the team before um, before the game today, and it's just one of those things when you know when you see when you see Michigan State on the other side, other other side of the court, you just um, there's a part of me that just no matter what, I always want to go out there and, and have some kind of effect on the game because that's just that's just what this rivalry, you know, does to you after a few years. So, um, you know, it's different being on being on the sidelines and watching the game there. Do you what feel you for these guys? Team? I mean, you, you not only did they lose you guys that left last year, but then they get the injuries. Yeah, they've had they've had a tough time this year, um, and sometimes there's nothing you can do about that. You know, injuries, um, you know, they happen, and you know when they happen, it takes time to recover from them. There's nothing you can do to to rush back or or heal those injuries any faster. So. Um, I know they're going through a tough time, but they're doing, you know, Coach Beeline and the rest of the staff, they're doing the best with what they have. And, um, you know, a lot of the games this year they've lost, but, you know, it's been an overtime and they, they put up good fights in a lot of the games. So, you know, I feel like they're still they're still going to find a way to make things happen. What did you what did you tell the guys? Before? Not much. Just the message was simple. Just go out there and, and, and have fun. And that's the main thing for me coming back here um, and just being in this atmosphere. Like, it just brings a smile to my face, and I remember how much fun you know, I had playing basketball here and, and just enjoying the rivalry and taking pride in being Michigan Wolverine. And that's really all I told them is just, you know, take pride in it and have fun. Do you lose some of that in the NBA where you don't have rivalries the same sort of way? 100%, 100%. And the thing is with the NBA is it's an 82-game schedule and it's just, you know, every game doesn't have the same kind of value that it has here. Um, you know, at Michigan, when you play, you know, 30, 35 games a year and it's maybe one or two a week, you know, you were pro – you know, there's a certain there's a certain uh, approach that comes here at Michigan that you know that we took that's a little bit different in the NBA. You know, you're in the news, your team, new coach. What's your, what are your thoughts? Oh, uh, you know, I'm I'm excited for it. You know, it's been it's been a roller coaster ride this year with us, and this is my third coach. You know, just about halfway through the year, so it's been different for me. You know, I'm used to you know being here in Michigan, and you know, through two years we had a lot of stability. You know, the same coaches, kind of the same players. So, um, you know, it's a different it's a different. Um, it's a different kind of look for me, and um, but I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, I've heard a lot of good things about George Carl, and um, I talked to him on the phone um, earlier this weekend, and I'm just excited to get a chance to work with him. What's it an opportunity for you, maybe to expand your role a little bit? That's up to him. You know, I've um, you know I've worked hard this year, um, but I haven't I haven't had the type of year that I you know I, I would hope I would have had. But there's 30 games left in the season. That's you know pretty much a, a full college season. So hopefully. Um, you know, hopefully I have a chance to kind of turn it around and, and get my confidence back these next 30 games. How are you doing mentally with it? I mean, you're used to scoring a lot and, and yeah. not having these off nights. How are you doing with that grind? Um, it's, it, you know, to be honest, it's been tough. Um, you know, I'm used to, you know, I think every player kind of has that transition, you know, when, you know, coming as an NBA as a rookie. And you know, the same thing when you're coming in from high school um, into college, you know, you kind of have to take a step back and, um, Kind of find your role on the team and, and find your strengths and weaknesses, and that's kind of what I've had to do. It's it's been humbling to be honest. Um, so, with me, it's all about getting my confidence back and, and getting that swagger back that I used to have here at Michigan, and, and just playing the way I know how to play. What's been the 